Welcome back to The Real News Network. I'm Paul Jay. We're in Beirut again, and we're back with Osama Hamdan. He's the Director of International Relations for Hamas. Thanks for joining us again. Thank you. So uh, you don't get much of an opportunity to be heard inside Israel, I don't think. So what, what we do, I think, will be seen in Israel. So what do you say to ordinary Israelis? Well, I have to say two things. Uh, they have to decide if they want to keep going on like an occupiers taking over the Palestinian lands, killing the Palestinians. We have a joke, which, ha which was published as a cartoon. Two children, a Jewish one and a Palestinian one. The Jewish one is telling the, the Palestinian, my father told me that you are uh, savage. Uh, he told me that you are killing our people. He told me that you are taking our lands. Uh, and he told me that I'm supposed to fight you. And the Palestinian child have a symbol answer. He told him, my father tells me nothing because he was killed by your father. So uh, they can go up like this. They will create more hatred. They will create, generate more fight between them and the Palestinians. And I believe, and everyone believes, such kind of occupation will not survive forever. So they have to make the decision whether they are ready to make a change or not, whether they are ready to talk to their own government, telling them we have to admit that we have done something wrong. We, 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 we took over the Palestinian lands, we occupied their lands, we killed them, and we have to recognize their rights. I hope this can happen inside Israel, because if they don't, they will not create any chances for peace. So how do you imagine, uh, what, what would a solution look like to you? Very specifically, like in terms of geography, <coughs> what kind of state? If you could have, you know, for a day, you could remake this, what would it look like? Well, uh, uh, no one can expect what will happen uh, in the future, but uh, everyone, everyone believes that uh, the best thing that all the people can live in peace. Uh, but this peace is supposed to be a real peace. It's not supposed to be imposed peace by accepting to give up your rights and to live as a slave under the control of the others. So they ha they, not only the Israelis, everyone, even on the level of the international community, they have to understand that the Palestinian people have their own rights. No one asked ask the, ask them to do so that. What, what would a, what would a well, solution the, look at, like at to At the end of the day, I believe if the Palestinians created their own independent sovereign state, they will be able more and more to discuss some critical issues, which is not accepted to be discussed as, as I believe now. Uh, they can say, well, we are an, an, an independent state, we have our self-determination right, so we, we, we have to ask ourselves as Palestinians, what about the international community? How to deal with the neighbors? How to deal with the region? How to deal with the international law? Those questions can be raised among the Palestinians if they have an, an independent sovereign state. Without this, the main question will be for the Palestinians how to resist to keep our rights how to resist to free our country, how to resist to free our... But to create that people. state, you're saying based on the prisoners' agreement, 1967 okay. borders... Okay, well, it's simple. To create the state, there is an international uh, uh, resolution which asks the Israelis to withdraw from the occupied land according to the 4th of June lines, 4th of June 67. So the Israelis can withdraw without, even without talking to the Palestinians, they can decide to withdraw, telling the international community, like what had happened in South Lebanon. After 18 years of occupation, they discovered that there is a resolution, which is 425 resolution, and they said, well, we will, we will withdraw according to this resolution. So they can say, we want to withdraw from all the Palestinian occupied territories, and we are ready to do that, letting the Palestinians to control themselves, letting the Palestinians to do whatever they want, self-determination, creating their state, etc. They can make this step. They can do that even without talking with the Palestinians. Well, it's silly to ask the Palestinians, do you want the Israelis to withdraw or not? Because everyone will say, I will be happy if they did that. So they can do that. You talk to a lot of Israelis and, and Jews outside of Israel. They believe in their heart of hearts that Hamas represents a force that hates Jews, hates Israelis particularly, and doesn't want an Israeli state there, period. Well, we, we, they believe this. Well, well, in fact, we are fighting the occupation. We have nothing wrong with the Jews. 
the, but what about the, is in your vision what, is there is there a state of Israel? Well, let, let, let me say this: we don't have uh, anything against the Jews. They have the right to be Jews. Anyone can have the right to be Jews, Muslim, Christian, um, having his own religion. This is a belief inside the Muslims. We are fighting the occupation, regardless to the religion or to ethnic uh, part of this occupation. Uh, even if we were occupied by uh, non-Jews, we, we would resist this occupation. So the idea of being against the Jews is a very wrong idea. We are against the occupation. Now, talking about the Palestinian land, everyone knows that Palestine is the Palestinian land. And everyone knows that uh, United Kingdom created Israel by the support of some Europeans inside the Palestinian lands. As Palestinians, we still believe and we will all the time believe that this land belongs to our fathers, to our grandfathers, it belongs to us. But if the Israelis decide not to live as occupiers, this will be a good start to find a solution. If they said, well, we are ready not to be occupiers, we are ready to find a solution, this would be a good start. But not occupiers meaning 1967 or not occupiers meaning well, the whole of well, Palestine? Well, I, I, I think if they, well, if they solve the problem, if they show that they are ready to solve the problem on the basis of being non-occupiers, the people will, both sides will find the solution which can keep the situation good for everyone. I can't imagine how the solution, the solution can be it may be a Palestinian state for all the people. It may be a Palestinian state for the people who, who, regardless to their religions. Who knows? But this will be a kind of discussed issue. The point which we can start, to really start from it, is they have to admit, they have to commit to the principle they are not going to be occupiers anymore. They recognize that the sufferness of the Palestinian people happened of, because of the occupation and they want, as Israelis, to see an end and to help in having an end of this sufferness of the Palestinians. This will be a good start uh, if, if, if they really want to have an end for this sufferness in the region. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on The Real News Network.